This is Scotty Reed with a Black Talk Radio commentary. On this commentary, I want to share a video that was shared with me. It's a video of us. I suspect this person to be a Confederate sympathizer. Obviously, he's a Confederate sympathizer from the videos, a suspected traitor of the United States of America. And it's just a shame that he wants to practice racism and religious bigotry by blaming Jews for the removal of these Confederate monuments. And that's really an insult to black people, white people, any Hispanic people who may have signed a petition in their uh, city or town where these monuments are being removed or, you know, these city councilmen and these mayors. That's an insult to them to say that the Jews is the reason that, you know, they're coming down. Oh, these black people aren't offended that people who enslaved their ancestors are being put on a pedestal in the United States and you're taking my taxes, making me pay for it in public spaces and what have you. Now, there are federal laws against um, the 1964 Civil Rights Act, discrimination based on quote unquote race, which is skin color, phenotype, your sex, whether you're a woman or not, your national origin, you know, because they we see a lot of hate towards immigrants in this time period in the age of Trump. So, you know, there are federal laws against that sort of stuff, but we got people like Jeff Sessions and his predecessors who did not fully enforce United States law to attack and destroy these anti-American uh, terror cells all around the country. It's not a new problem. Um, it's actually an old problem, and it just goes to show you the weak leadership that we've had um, in the past in terms of allowing people who try to destroy the United States put up tributes and monuments to racists, slavers, uh, misogynists, and they wanted to destroy America. I mean, think about that. In Russia, when Russia, it, during World War II, they were invaded by Germany. Tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of Soviet troops died as a result of the Germany and Hitler and the Nazis starting the war. Okay, do you see any kind of monuments to Adolf Hitler, Adolf Eichmann, any Nazis uh, that were part of that invasion? Do you see monuments and tributes and statues in Russia to those people? So it makes no sense to ask Americans, I mean, the same thing. These people killed hundreds of thousands of U.S. troops, okay, um, who gave their lives, some to free enslaved Africans, others to keep the United States together and to put down this, this rebellion. So what sense does it make then that after the Civil War, um, about maybe 20, 30, possibly 40 years later, that we tolerate all of these monuments on public property that all Americans are forced to maintain via their taxes. It, it is, it's an assault upon what should be common sense, but obviously it's not common sense. I mean, anybody who understands war understands why the United States, when it invaded Iraq, rightly or wrongly, and I would agree with those who say it was wrong, but the United States Army tore down the monuments and tributes all across Iraq to Saddam Hussein. Why? So that his followers, his sympathizers did not use those monuments as inspiration to mount an insurrection. Although the insurrection still occurred. But do you get the principle? This is why you don't have, um, this is why the when Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama uh, illegally uh, participated in the overthrow of the Libyan government and turned over Gaddafi to those Islamic jihadists. Nobody knows where his body's at. You know why they don't know where his body's at? Because they didn't want his grave being turned into a monument, a tribute, okay? And then, um, um, you know, energizing or giving inspiration to those who are actually in Libya uh, trying to get their rightful government uh, back in place. So, but th this is warfare. A lot of people don't understand warfare. So it made no sense for Confederates to be welcomed back into the Union when these people betrayed 
the United States and all behind greed and the enslavement of human beings to welcome them back with open arms, they should have been marched to the gallows. They should have been hung from their necks and their property confiscated and distributed to the victims of slavery. Then we wouldn't have this question about reparations in the 21st century. Okay, that's what should have happened. That's what logical people, all the wars that I have read about, studied about, that's what the winner of the war has always done, but not America. And then we wonder why there are two Americas, or we wonder why we have these white supremacists, uh, Confederate sympathizers still around. And so I just want to, I came across this video, somebody uh, tagged me on a video to watch this video, and it's some very dangerous propaganda here. Um, a thinking person, a person who knows history, they would not be fooled by this man and his attempt to blame Jews for these Confederate uh, monuments to traitors and slavers and white supremacists uh, coming down. No, no, I'm not going to give that credit to to Jews. Are some Jewish people involved? Possibly. You know, I, I don't know. Is the mayor of Louisiana, I mean, excuse me, of New Orleans, I know he's a white person, but it, does he practice Judaism? Is he a Jew? I, I don't know. And it's all immaterial, but this guy, this video has been viewed thousands of times, hundreds of people like it, and it's straight up ignorance. It's ignorance about history or it is intentional deception. So I will be pausing the video to chime in from time to time um, because we have to break down this propaganda so that it doesn't affect you know other people or people that may come across it later so you know this is a, my attempt at counter propaganda all right so let's pull up this video the new crusade in america is the damnation of national memory and the elimination of significant blocks of american history from the public sphere everyone was reconciled to the chronicling of the civil war and the reunion including its memorials and symbols but now Confederate flags, monuments, and main places have become the new heresy. Okay, let's stop it there. He's talking about white people. See, he still doesn't recognize that there were, there are Americans and always have been Americans going back to the Continental Army and all of the quote-unquote African Americans who helped defeat the British in the Continental Army. He's not even considering them when he's talking about everybody reconciled and everybody was all good with it, and including the monuments. Well, just because black people during Jim Crow did not have the political power, did not have the means uh, to oppose these monuments being put up by Ku Klux Klan members. I know that the Con Daughters of the Confederacy are credited with a lot of these monuments they even got one and we'll get later into this in this video but they even have one in uh france paris france a, a monument to a confederate who fled the united states after the assassination of abraham uh lincoln but no black americans african americans americans there were plenty of americans who were not cool with tributes and monuments to people who have killed their ancestors and this includes white people whose ancestors fought in the union army killed hundreds of thousands all of this death and, and, and suffering because a lot of poor white people in the south fell for the wealthy people's media propaganda and feeding into their racism to get them to risk their lives for slave owners, even though these people were not profiting from slavery. They really weren't. The poor whites weren't. They may have gotten a job here or there connected to a plantation to oversee and brutalize black people. But for the most part, these people were poor. Many of them landless, sharecroppers and, and things of that nature. And they were influenced by propaganda from the wealthy to join the Confederacy and to keep black people, uh, Africans in chains. So 
He's incorrect to say that everybody was cool with it and and nobody had a problem with it. And then again, he's practicing racism when he doesn't acknowledge black people. We didn't agree. Didn't none of those Union soldiers agree to reconcile uh, with the Confederates? I imagine that a lot of them black soldiers, former slaves, probably would have been more than willing to lynch these slavers, these evil people from trees. So, you know, or put them in a firing squad. After, of course, you give them a military trial, kangaroo trial, because we know they were guilty, caught in uniform. But let's go ahead and let this guy continue to feed you a bunch of BS. The recent removals of the Confederate flag in South Carolina and the monument of Robert E. Lee in Louisiana are just the beginning of our national disintegration. I mean, think about that, what he just said. What nation is he talking about disintegrating? The CSA does not exist. It does not exist. It may be embodied in suspected racist Southern politicians and even, you know, Northern politicians. They, they even have monuments in states where uh, that didn't even exist during the Civil War. So uh, what nation is he talking about? He ain't talking about the United States of America today that has citizens of all creed, color, and religions. No, no, he, he's not talking about. So again, this man is practicing racism. And that all are two powerful Jewish organizations. The Southern Poverty Law Center, SPLC, and the Anti-Defamation League, the ADL. The SPLC amassed a huge hit list of 1,500 Confederate memorabilia that they're just itching to take down. Okay. I'm going to stop it right there because he's provided you with no evidence. He shows you the picture of two men who are allegedly Jews. I don't know if they practice just because their parents may have been observant. Jews doesn't mean that they are. Okay. But he gives you two pictures of, of men that he says are Jews and they are behind this conspiracy. Um, these men work for these organizations, uh, uh, obviously, but they are behind a conspiracy to remove these Confederate monuments to traitors, slavers, insurrectionists. He showed you no evidence. Does the SPLC have a interactive map? I'm not sure if it's interactive, but do they have a map? showing across the United States of America monuments and tributes to anti-American traitors. That's not evidence that they behind taking down these monuments. I would call that public education. The SPLC tracks hate groups. The Ku Klux Klan is a hate group. They go to these monuments, um, especially Memphis, Tennessee used to have up until two years ago until they removed that statue of Nathan Bedford Forrest they, that would be like a pilgrimage for them they would go to his tomb they actually had this man buried and I will uh, actually show show you that in, in just a bit but don't fall for the propaganda how is he going to show us two Jewish men and say that they represent a grand conspiracy of millions of Jews in this country to attack the anti-American CSA and remove their monuments. Look, the Southern Poverty Law Center isn't the only platform where you can uh, look at a map of where all these monuments are. They even have a Wikipedia page where these monuments are. And that Wikipedia page is very incomplete because when I looked at it, I had to add two monuments that I know about in my county here in North Carolina. So, you know, uh, it's also insulting to black people and we'll see him kind of hinted that like black people are just they don't have we're just puppets Jewish puppets is oh the black people were cool with these monuments then these Jews these Jewish agitators coming along and telling these black people have some self-respect uh pull down these monuments you shouldn't have to fund these monuments and these are where the monuments are and you know man the nonsense. I can't believe that hundreds of people, 
yes, I can believe it, that hundreds of people, suspected racists, would like this propaganda that this man is putting out that isn't based on any kind of evidence whatsoever. He showed you no evidence of a conspiracy. He showed you two Jews, two white men, I would add. So let me continue. Memorials on private property aren't safe either. That's a lie. I have not heard of anybody uh, being forced to take down Confederate flags off of their back of their trucks. They're not being pulled over by police officers. They should be, though, because they suspected the terrorists. They should be profiled. And But people fly Confederate flags on their property. Nobody's making them take it down. If they want to build a monument, nobody's forcing them to take these things down. Nobody's digging up. Well, yeah, they did dig up uh, <laughs> uh, Nathan Bedford Forrest and get his butt, uh, his dead bones off the public property in Memphis. I don't know where they, where his body's at now. But we have Confederate cemeteries or cemeteries where Confederate soldiers are buried around here. Nobody's pushing over their headstones like we've seen white nationalists go to Jewish uh, cemeteries and, and do this sort of stuff. So he's lying to you. Nobody, you know, this is America where you do have private property rights. I don't care about you wearing a flag, a Confederate flag on your shirt. They just tell me you a suspected terrorist and I like to know who the suspected terrorists are around me. Okay. So I ain't got a problem with, with personal displays of anti-Americanism, pro-Confederacy uh, um, expressions of speech. I do believe in principles contained within the Constitution, especially the Bill of Rights. So this man is lying. He's lying. So if he lie about that, what else he, will he lie about? Pretty much everything. And while the ADL calls Confederate displays symbols of slavery, they their are. real scheme is to erase the Jews' historical predominance in world and domestic slave trade. The evidence is damning. In America alone, Jews in both the South and North were very active in the Negro slave trade. That right there, that was an act of racism. What's, what's this Negro in, in quotes? And I would add to you that, yes, Jews were involved in the slave trade. Guess who else were? were? Europeans, Irish Europeans, Scottish Europeans, British Europeans, Welsh Europeans, German Europeans. Who else? Africans. That's why Ghana offers dual citizenship with no question to the descent to any African American because of their role in facilitating the transatlantic slave trade. So, uh, you know, there I know there are some African descended people who don't want to examine that history. And, you know, it doesn't matter how big or how small their role is. The fact is they engaged in it. They engaged in it. So how how logical is it for me to say, for him to say, I should say, how logical is it that in order to hide the Jewish uh, involvement in slavery is by taking down anti-American Confederate monuments of people like General Robert F. Lee? Well, is Robert F. Lee, I mean, is Robert F. Lee real name Lebowitz or something like that? Is that what you're trying to say, that they're taking these monuments down because these are really all Jews and people might figure out that these all these confederates were jews so we want to hide that history no that's garbage that that makes no logical sense whatsoever the involvement of the many people that i have named involved in in the slave trade the uh, specifically the african slave trade is well documented it's well documented and you can't hide it now. It's out there now. It's out there on the World Wide Web. You can't hide it. Okay? And and that's well known. That I mean, that's obvious to anybody who's really studied slavery. But here, here is the thing. Plenty of Christians were practicing slavery too. Plenty of Muslims have practiced slavery too. All right? And plenty of Americans today are still practicing slavery via the 13th Amendment, but they just don't know it. 
and there is a movement to end slavery. But there is nothing wrong. I welcome, I applaud, I will participate in pulling down these anti-American monuments. A monument is when you're memorializing somebody who did something great. This is where you recognizing somebody for something they did for the greater good of humanity. You don't give tributes to people who are mass murderers, enslavers, and ra you just don't do it. The Jews don't do that. For, don't tolerate that kind of stuff from Hitler. But again, how to dare this man act like black people? aren't involved in politics, like we're not sitting on these city councils, like we're not sitting in these uh, seats of uh, in the mayor's office, and that we don't have a grassroots movement to pull them down because we are Americans, and American citizens should not be forced to maintain anti-American monuments on American property. Let's continue, let him continue with his nonsense. Jews such as Mordechai Cohen, Eliezer Marx, Isaiah Moses, the Levi clan of Mississippi, along with David Franks and Benjamin Levy, who as merchants of Philadelphia petitioned to halt a pending duty levied on the heads of their imported slaves. Yet with all of Jews' attempts to erase their participation in the slave trade, not a peep out of them to take down the statue of Judah Benjamin the Jewish Secretary of State of the Confederacy. Right, and he was functioning as a white person. And I could not find any monuments in the United States uh, to uh, Benjamin, uh, what's his name, Judah Benjamin. They do have, a, a, he's buried in Paris, France, cause he fled to France or to Europe. Um, in uh, after the assassination of Lincoln uh, uh, is what I'm trying to get out. He thought that he was going to be blamed for it, and he probably was part of it. It's neither here or there. He should have been hung for being a traitor, but he fled to Europe, and the again, the Ku Klux Klan sister organization, the Daughters of the Confederacy, spent money, raised money to memorialize this person in France. So, as an American, I would like to tell the French that y'all should not memorialize this man um, if he's on public property that all of you French people are are contributing taxes towards and maintaining, y'all should pull it down. Y'all should pull it down because this man was a slave trader, okay? He's mentioned as the only person who was part of the Confederate government who didn't own any slaves, but that's because he sold his plantation and all of his victims before joining the Confederacy. So he's not an honorable man. Honorable people should not be memorialized. And so this guy, again, is being very, very anti-Jewish, very anti-Jewish. He playing on the ignorance of Americans, regardless of their, their race, on knowing this sort of history. Now, if there is a monument to this man anywhere in the United States on public property maintained with American citizen taxes, it's got to go too. It's got to go. And we thank you for telling us about it. Airline on Benjamin is he wasn't a contemptible white slave owner. Rather, in a rags to riches story, his 213 slaves on his sugarcane plantation was simply a clever investment. The more things change, the more Jews protect their own. Again, the Jews, as well as Muslims, as well as Christians, even today, are involved in slavery investing in slavery so i'm glad he used the word clever investment okay because private prison companies are traded on wall street today so we could put we could point at the jews and say the jews the jews the jews but the fact is is that you even have african americans um like the descendant of third good marshall actually the son of third good marshall a senior, the former Supreme Court Justice, his son sits on the board of Core Civic, formerly known as Correction Corporation of America. 
So, again, people of all different backgrounds, skin colors, religious affiliations are involved in slavery, even right now in the 21st century. People need to read that 13th Amendment, which Confederates helped write. Again, Lincoln betrayed every uh, every Union soldier. They risked his life to keep the Union together. The, you know, even under the Uniform Military Code of Justice, the death penalty is was prescribed for treason. These people kill fellow, you know, their fellow soldiers. And they would have killed every African American if they had won or either enslaved them, but they would have wiped out and murdered all of those soldiers, which many of them did commit war crimes, like Nathan Bedford Forrest. Thank you, Memphis, for two years ago taking his statute down. So, again, this guy is relying heavily on any kind of anti-Jewish bias that people will hold, don't want to hold themselves accountable, or they want to shift the blame to somebody else. No, no, we, we're not going to allow that. And I just don't, I actually don't care to even hear anything else he has to say. Um, it's probably about, what, three more minutes and I'm just not going to suffer a fool. I'm not going to suffer this racist, suspected racist fool who has such a low opinion of black people that he thinks we don't have enough self-respect to organize and be behind pulling down these anti-American monuments and tributes to people who enslaved many of our ancestors and killed and terrorized after the Civil War, terrorized. Nathan Bedford Forrest joined the Klan. Okay? So, you know, that that's offensive to me. Now, I have written a letter to the ACLU. I don't know if they got Irish American attorneys working at the one in North Carolina. I don't know if they're German American attorneys. It don't matter. I don't know if they're Jewish Americans. They might be. I might get a black attorney. Okay? So, if I was to draw a um, Jewish attorney, what you going to say that that Jew that I got as an attorney because the ACLU of North Carolina decided to help me out in suing North Carolina over the law they passed protecting these Confederate monuments, these anti-American monuments. I'm a U.S. veteran, descendant of American revolutionary, and you don't even have a monument to any American revolutionaries or Union soldiers, but you got monuments to these racist slavers, mass murderers? No. So, no, that won't be a Jewish attorney putting me up to nothing. That's Scotty Reed acting on his own accord and his own volition, and if I can get some assistance, I'll take that assistance from wherever it may come. Okay? So, don't fall for this nonsense that this guy is spewing. And keep up the momentum that started two years ago when this person right here went into a historically African-American church that was uh, burnt down to the ground in the 1800s because of their participation in helping enslaved Africans escape. That's why Dylan Roof the, the uh, terrorists, the anti-American terrorists. Again, these people are anti-American. This is why that Confederate flag came down from not because he killed those people. They said that and they used that, you know, as part of their arguments of why this had to come down. But I suspect that this right here, him burning an American flag. These are traitors. These are terrorists. These people are operating in terrorist cells. And I appreciate them identifying themselves. What is the United States government going to do about these terrorists? It is time for Americans to stop being weak and stop tolerating these terrorists and letting them hang around and hang around to, to terrorize and plague future generations. So American citizens, you know, it, they talk about one America and uniting America. That's how you can unite in this instance. Okay, unite around removing all these anti-American monuments from public property. Start calling for the prosecution and putting these groups 
these confederate groups on a terrorist watch list because that's what they are they're killing american citizens they're celebrating the terror terrorism of american citizens and it just makes absolutely no sense in a civilized society to continue to to memorialize and give places of honor in the public square to despicable people I dare call them people demons so this has been Scotty Reed with a black talk radio news commentary if you would like to support our channel our radio station you can make a donation to black talk media project at black talk media project.org or black talk radio network Dot com. You'll see a donate button down there in the description. Please donate and support independent media and help us in this fight to counter propaganda. All right. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, uh, Black Talk Media or Black Talk Radio. Uh, subscribe to Twitter at Black Talk Radio. You can find us on Facebook, Black Talk Radio Network. Like us. Make sure you follow us and share this video. Peace.